Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Sarah and this is a coloring book review flip through for Color World's Viking Quest The Journey Begins. And they do have another one of these books out. It has something to do with um, cavemen and dinosaurs. Um, I don't remember the title of it, but um, this is the one I have chosen to get first. And after seeing this book, I will be getting the other one. So this is the front cover. This is the back. The dimensions of the book are 8.5 by 11 inches. It's the thickness. And the spine, as you see, is a little different than any of the other coloring books that I've had on here. It is spiral bound, which is really cool. When you open it, you have the title page. And this, it has a story in it. So this would be really cool as a present for a grandchild, a child, um, a neighbor's kid, your cousin's kid, whoever kid you know. Um, who, you know, if the kid likes to color, this would be a great present. Um, it has a really nice story line to it. Um, it it's a really cool story, actually. Um, I thought it might be kind of lame, but it isn't. It's really cool. And um, it has the pictures to go along with it. And not only does it have the front picture, but it folds out to a full page spread of picture for you to color. How cool is that? This is very cool. So this is the first page here. And I'm going to go along and open it up as I, as I go. And because this side has writing on it, I'm probably going to move this over so I can get the full page in the picture. So I showed you that one already. Now I got this from Amazon and I believe it was $12.99 plus shipping. So it was more expensive than my normal coloring books that I would get, but it was so unique and so different. I thought, well, let me just try one and see how it how it is. And if I like it, then I can go back and get the other one. Well, I'll definitely be getting the other one. And the paper quality in this is really nice. It is a thinner cardstock type of paper. It's still pretty thick. Um, you should be able to use colored pencils in this, gel pens, fine liners, no problem at all. Um, I would think even watercolors would be fine as long as you're able to control the water flow. It should be fine. And as I flip through this, you'll notice that it is a rather thick book. So there are lots and lots of pictures to color and to see in here. I love this little animal thing. It He's really cute. There seems to be some kind of sand or some kind of debris inside the book. Um, so beware if you buy this. There was only one seller who sold these. Um, so you'll probably be ordering it from the same seller that I was buying them from. Um, just beware of that. There seems to be something between the pages. some Something rough. And so before you start coloring in it, be sure you take the time to brush it off. I don't know what it is in there, but it's something. And I read part of this book already. And it's a really cool story, and I don't want to ruin it for you if you buy it. Um, it's just a really unique book, and like I said before, I thought the story might be a little lame, because um, it's in a coloring book, you know, that kind of thing, but the Color Worlds really did a great job at orchestrating a not only a great coloring book, but a great story to go along with it.
There's more of that sand stuff. I don't know what that is, but it's a little weird. It's between the pages. I don't, I don't get that. So you can see it's a pretty neat book. I've really enjoyed looking through this and kind of seeing what the Color Worlds brand has to offer. And I went to their website and it looks like they're coming out with more story coloring books in the future. Um, I'm hoping that's true because I will be buying every one of them. Um, this one. Um, 10,000 BC is the other... Um, coloring book that they have out and it says the coming attractions for these books will be clans of the tideless sea and space booters um, so they've got a pretty eclectic collection of different things so anyway this was a really unique book and I thought I'd share that with you guys um, so there you go I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to be kind to people and happy coloring.